Hey guys, today I'm reviewing the Genius Retinol 2.5% Serum and make sure to stay tuned until the end when I'll give you my final review and rating. I got the Genius um, Retinol 2.5% Serum on Amazon for $14.99 for one ounce. So it's definitely just like an average price for a retinol serum. The texture and feeling of this retinol serum is it's super thin and it feels super watery and like slippery on the face and a little bit goes such a long way. I feel like you literally only need one drop to cover like your whole face and your whole neck or maybe, yeah, like literally one drop. It's, it's so slippery and it goes such a long way. The application is so easy because the dropper, I, I just love a dropper application, maybe even more than I love a pump because it's just so precise and you're not gonna waste any product with a dropper, which I love. It takes, it does not take very long to dry. It takes like 15 seconds to dry. One thing I notice about this product is because, like the fact that it dries down so fast as it's drying, it makes your skin feel dry. Like as soon as it's kind of like, after it's applied to the face and rubbed in, your face like automatically starts to feel dry. I notice there's alcohol in this product, so I don't know if it's the, help, the alcohol drying your skin out, but it definitely feels like sucks all the moisture out of your skin. The smell of this product, it kind of smells like minty, menthol-y, but not like medicinal in any way. It just like smells kind of that way. Also, I forgot to mention in the feeling, when you apply it to your face, it has like a real cooling sensation, which I actually really like a lot. It just feels like it's automatically working. So I like that about this product. But like I said, the smell's kind of minty, but as it dries down, it smells like alcohol. And as I said, there is alcohol in this product and it starts to smell like alcohol, which I really don't like. The results I noticed from this product over a short period of time, I noticed it did dry my skin out. I was feeling like my skin was unusually dry and flaky and over a longer period of time, the results I achieved with this retinol serum were really unimpressive. It like seriously dried my skin out. And in some of my problem areas on my face, like where I'm breaking out like here or wherever it is, I noticed it like created like crazy dry patches. And I don't know if it's because it's treating those areas, but it's like, they were really irritating and really itchy and really dry. And at, no matter how much I used it, it just like continued to get worse. Not only that, but it also like did absolutely nothing for the fine lines and wrinkles on my face. If anything, I felt like it was making me so dry that it was making the texture of my skin worse. So I really don't like that. Um, fortunately, if you do want to try this product out, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So you're, there's no like, harm in trying it other than insanely dry skin like I experienced. But overall, I gave the Genius Retinol 2.5% Serum one out of five stars because I just really was disappointed with what it did to my skin. The only thing I saw happen to my skin was that it was super, super dry and absolutely nothing else. So I personally wouldn't recommend this if you're looking to moisturize, hydrate, plump, you know, correct aging of the face. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried this one, if you had a similar experience or if you love it, if, if you, you know you think the opposite of it, I'd love to know in the comments below. And also let me know if there's any other retinols you'd like me to try that I haven't reviewed. I'd love to review them for you. Overall, I give the Genius Retinol 2.5% Serum one out of five stars. And for more information on this retinol and other retinols, you can visit us at retinol.com and on Facebook and Twitter.